All right, hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to convert a PSN PlayStation 1 game to an essentially an ISO. It's not the same as an ISO, but it works the same way. You can burn it to a disc and play it on a modded console. You can play it on an emulator. You can do pretty much anything you can with an ISO. So um, this just gives you an option if you want to have, let's say you bought a game that's really expensive to buy locally. Um, you just want to be able to play it and you don't want to pirate it because pirating is boring, right? All right, so I'm going to show you another way to do it. Um, it's a few steps, but it's not super long. Um, no matter how you buy your game, you will need to have it transferred on your PSP. So basically, just plug in your PSP. Uh, you use a copy option. You'll need to have the space on your memory stick. But once you have it copied, you just got to find it. So open up your PSP, mine's Drive H. Open up the PSP folder, then open up the game folder, and inside you should see a bunch of stuff. Um, you will need to find a folder that has the same name of your game ID. Don't know your game ID? You can either Google it, or you can use this program I'll have linked in the description, which is actually for making your own custom PSP, PS1 games. So just simply load up the program, uh, click this little dot 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 by game title, and then type in the name of the game. And here we go, Final Fantasy VIII. Look for disc one if it's multi-disc. And it's SLUS00892. So we'd open up the game folder and we'd find SLUS00892. And here we go. Here's our eBoot. Here's our document. I'm pretty sure the document is just the manual um, or something like that. Now, if you downloaded, if you have a modded PSP and you downloaded this um, PS1 game from the internet, you can probably use this extraction option. You just click here, load up your, your eBoot, and then click extract. But if you download it from PlayStation Network, it's probably encrypted, so this would not actually work. So, assuming you did download it from like somewhere online or you made it yourself, you can extract it that way, you're done. But for normal people, keep, let's keep on moving. All right, so now that we found our game, the next thing we need to do is go ahead and get a key for it. So we're going to open up this program. I'll have a link in the description called PSN Package Decryptor and Extractor. And just simply, once you have it loaded up, drag and drop your eBoot into here. And it will give you a little message. And now you got a .keys file. All right, so the next thing you want to do is make everything go a lot faster. You want to copy all the files to your computer somewhere. So let's just make a new folder. We'll call it FF8. And now we'll have all this on our computer. All right, now that's done copying, the next step will go much faster. All right, so next thing we're gonna need to do is actually extract this. Press, hold down Windows key and press R. You'll get this little box, type in CMD, and then just press Enter, and you'll get this box. Uh, your font may be a different color, it's not a big deal. Next thing we need to do is move into this directory where all our stuff is. That will let us keep everything organized. So if you're running Windows 7 or higher, as long as you're in this folder, make sure it's not on your PSP since that will make everything slower. Click up here, and it will give you the full path. Once you have all that highlighted, you can just right-click and copy. Come over here, right-click and paste. Now press Home to go to the beginning. Now type in CD and space. So you should have CD, space, and then the path to wherever your files are stored. Go ahead and press Enter. Now, as you can see, it didn't move me anywhere. That's because I'm trying to work with a different drive. As you can see here on the left side, it says C colon slash, blah, 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 blah. And we try to change it to F colon slash, blah, 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 blah. If these are two different letters at the beginning, then you're going to have to manually move it over. So you just type in the letter and a colon. So I want to move the F colon. And then, ta-da, we're in the right folder. Easy peasy. All right, so now let's go back to wherever you extract all the files I told you to download, or the files in the description. And you should find something called PS Stract. So just go ahead and drag and drop that into your command prompt. Then press space. Now we're going to do minus C. There should be a space in between that. Now go back to where all your files are stored. And drag and drop in first the eBoot. Then do a space. Then next the document. Do a space. And finally the keys. It has to be a space after minus C, so make sure there's spaces between everything. Extract, minus C, eBoot, space, document, space, keys, space. All right, now I go ahead and press enter. And now we'll actually start extracting some stuff. You should see you have an extra folder here called PBP. That has your icon and your background and your sound effects or anything else you may have. And right now what it's doing is it's extracting everything for you. So I'm going to go ahead and skip real quick to when everything is extracted, and I'll show you where all your stuff is. All right, now it says it's successfully constructed our four ISO images, since Final Fantasy VIII is a four-disc game. So now we can just go inside of, um, here's our working directory. It says 
FF8 or any FF8 folder. So now we have a CD-ROM folder and that has all our bins and queues. And again, these are pretty much the same as ISOs. Um, the bin file has all your data. The queue file just says how it's supposed to be structured. So um, if you're burning, just burn the queue file, even though it's much smaller, it will link to the bin file. All right, so just to test it out, let's go ahead and open up our emulator. So we load up our emulator, we say load ISO, and we can see all our bins and queues. So we just load the queue for disk one. And takes a while to load, but yep, it actually boots up just fine. So yep, this is an actual ISO that you could play on an emulator, you could burn it to a CD, you could do whatever you want with it, and it will work just fine, and you didn't even have to pirate anything. So again, if you do want to pirate, I'm not going to tell you you can't, this is just an interesting way to do it, it's just a fun thing. Um, but yep, uh, so that is it. Uh, if you want to make your own custom eBoot, or you want to like you know do something else, there's a whole bunch of files left over. Uh, and here you have the icon from that you downloaded. So there's the icon. Here's the little description and stuff. So basically it has all the elements extracted separately. So that's pretty cool. Um, here's your ISO bin file. Um, not really sure what you need any of this extra stuff for. But it is here if you want it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. hope it wasn't too long for you guys. I try to make it super detailed. You even have a decrypted document file or a decrypted manual. So, yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye.